Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Be Ourselves. And today I'm going to be doing a story time. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. I'll be talking about um, how I found out I was pregnant, how, um, how I felt, my cravings, and all that. So, let's get to it. So, first things first. I found out I was pregnant um, probably the first week of... Um, yeah, the first week of October. Um, literally, I just missed my period. It was like six days. And I'm like, you know what? I have a feeling I'm pregnant. I actually went to Rite Aid and then I'm like, okay, um, let me get a pregnancy test. And so I bought one. I went to Ross, took it there, and like two minutes in, I look at the stick and boom, I was pregnant. Since I was already at, at Ross, I, um, I'm like, let me just buy a little outfit. Um, let me surprise Gio and then I bought an outfit. Um, I put a, I think I put a card, I'm not sure. Um, I put a card and the stick on the little gift bag. And so I drive back, I'm um, trying to meet him for lunch. And he got into the car and I gave him my, and I gave him the gift bag. Um, at first, I think he knew what I was like giving him. So he opened up the, the bag and then he started digging in, he took out the little outfit. It actually got a, I think it was like a boy outfit, so I'm sorry, Aaliyah, but it was a little outfit. And then in the very bottom, there was the pregnancy stick. I mean, the pregnancy test, whatever. And then you just see his face light up, and his face just got really happy just seeing that pregnancy test. I told you right on the spot, like right in the day, so we found out the same day. Um, and then we got home and he was like, should I tell my mom? And I'm like, you know what, let's wait so I can tell my mom. But whatever. Um, we got to the house and he couldn't wait and told his mom. Um, so there was no choice than to tell my mom and my family. Um, I, <laughs> I grew texted them because I couldn't confront them. I texted them and that's how they found out. And then I told my mom not to tell my dad yet because <clears throat> he's really scary. So <laughs> yeah. Um, my mom told him like once I was like three months pregnant. But what can they do? They couldn't say anything about it. Um, my mom was probably upset at first but you know things happen. And so yeah, three months in, my dad found out and we don't like talking about things. So we didn't really say anything. And then, um, so yeah, that's how I found out like and my family. So how I felt throughout my pregnancy, um, my first trimester, I was really sleepy. Like I just wanted to sleep all friggin' day. Like I would go to work and I would just like zone out, be sleepy, just come home, sleep. That was my thing my first trimester. I just wanted to sleep, sleep, sleep. Um, and then I didn't really crave anything my first trimester. Uh, second trimester, I um, I felt more nauseous than first trimester. Uh, second trimester, I, um, I don't know, I'm not sure. I just I think I threw up like three times. Like that, that was it. Like my whole pregnancy was just three times. Um, it just got to the point where I just couldn't handle my nauseas, but, um, second trimester, what was I craving? Um, just a lot of acid stuff, like orange juice and lemon lollipops. I would literally eat paleta de limon every freaking day, like, every day. Um, there was not a day where I didn't have one. And I didn't have one, I would feel really bad, like, I would feel, like, nauseous and stuff, but... If it wasn't a part of the limon, it would be like fruta con like halatajin and limon. Um, but yeah, um, the second trimester was nauseous and had a like sour thing. And then third trimester, I was only in my third trimester for two months. 
Um, but that last two months, I actually like, like, I didn't sleep at all. Like, literally, I would sleep probably like five hours and like throughout the night because I would just be tossing or trying to turn, freaking, I don't know, move. <laughs> but, um, I couldn't sleep, my big ass belly. But yeah, um, my third trimester, I didn't really crave anything. It was just, how I said, like, pura paleta de limon, like, every day till the last day I was pregnant. Paleta de limon. Aaliyah actually moved a lot, a lot. Like, once I found out I was pregnant, um, she was like, maybe I was like two months in, I was like, she was already moving. I was like, what the hell? Like, I thought it was gas or something. I was like, whatever, she can't be kicking right now. So, like, I was like, hmm, it's gas. My stomach's just twitching. But no, like, literally, like, she was, like, kicking. I'm like, what the hell? But she was an active baby. Like, she was really, really active. Um, like, literally, you can see my stomach, like, stretch out. Like, it was so bad. But that feeling was awesome. Like, just knowing that my baby was in there, like, I don't know. It was the best feeling. But I would hate it when she would kick my bladder my ribs and like up here like the worst but literally my pregnancy was sorry it's like all over the place like i just i don't know i literally find it like unreal like i feel like it was just a dream because it went by super quick since i was just pregnant for eight months she came a little bit early um but hey, she wanted to meet me before Mother's Day. Um, she was born May 9th, 2018. Um, I wish I can like have my pregnancy like all over the same. Like, I mean, all over again. Like everything the same. Like the cravings, the the feeling, like everything. Um, I do have a little slideshow I'm going to show you guys at the end um just pictures of me um throughout my pregnancy a few videos just random like just a minute I was like going back and forth and all but literally just since it was like, what two years ago I don't know but yeah a year and a half sorry that I was pregnant or was it September 2017 <laughs> I was pregnant so it's been a while um that's a little update on my pregnancy and if you guys want to know more about my pregnancy just comment down below or message me on instagram if you are a pregnant mama who have the same cravings or you know just want to talk to someone that has already been pregnant before go ahead and send me a message i'll be happy to respond and see you guys next time